Vineet, you wrote from Cherpalashiri in Kerala. I thought I'll take up this blog on, you know, your questions on mustering confidence to present. Uh, you apparently watch my blogs. Um, you have been following all the blogs that I write, most of them, and, and you've written some remarkable things. Thank you for that. <clears throat> but talking about confidence, I think, uh, see, you speak about ambition, so I'll begin from there. And you should seek other expert advice as well. But in my personal view, uh, ambition, there are two types of people, majorly. You know, one is the person who sets a plan, then works to achieve that goal through his or her life. That is plan A. Plan B is people who don't really know where they're heading. And they keep working at whatever they are good at and eventually settle for what they find best according to their potential. That's type 2. But just to keep the flow intact, I will use English as the prime language. Somewhere uh, in this question, you have spoken about low confidence and uh, having failed a couple of interactions uh, after you completed uh, a management program from a prestigious university. All of that is great, you know, but that is academic and it's not going to uh, percolate your job directly unless you acquire some experience. Work experience is definitely required for you to spike up your confidence. When you interact with people, when you meet them, the more the number of interactions, that is why we say that experience is the fastest route to confidence. Time and again, we automatically build on our level of confidence. I'm going to let. Then, language proficiency. <coughs> being a Malayali, and I'm not being biased at all, all, all my friends from other parts of India should take this in a, a positive stride. Malayalam is a relatively tough language to speak in. So, then the base Sanskrit Sanskrit is not very easy as a language. You need exceptional clarity in your tongue, in your mouth, to be able to pronounce the words accurately. Paksham is a word in Malayalam for uh, taking sides. And Anganadana, Moksham, Maya. You know, these are very difficult sounds for a person to pronounce, uh, pronounce uh, effectively. If you are already doing that, uh, it it goes to prove that you are good at grasping things. You already are speaking in multiple languages as an Indian. Whichever part of India we are from, we already are speaking in multiple languages. English, I'm not going to be around. It's just a matter of practice. It comes with time. The more you do it, you... Uh, it's not restricted to clarity of mouth you know, it's also a clarity of thought process the as an indian by design we speak multiple languages one is your native whatever your mother tongue then english as a hindi as a it's just you're building on your existing ability but imagine the bitrate at which your brain has to operate to process the emotions involved in all these languages, to process the meaning of words. And the higher the vocabulary, the more fantastic a brain you are declared as. That's the way I see things. You know, and I'm sure someone more able will only have things to add to this. So as Indians, I think we do a remarkable job uh, by birth to try and connect with the world somehow. And language is just one of the many mediums. 
and Indians have always done a remarkable job ever since the British India we learnt everything that it took for us to put forth our ideas our thoughts we went around the globe we took over things and we are leading things today upon other i don't think it is a weakness anymore uh, if someone thinks speaking in fluent english is the ultimate litmus for an able mind then foolish is <laughs> what i'd call that even in my humblest form manasila ayo apa the don't take it to your heart it is something that you need to work on as you go again all of these elements will it's like a jigsaw these pieces will fall as you collect these pieces and that collection that that walk is called life alavin endiyana than jeevitham konde you life is to build on these things allade gossip cheyid time waste cheyid galanulladalla it is not to always talk about what's happening who did what you know someone said so correctly you know it's foolish to talk about others it requires the least intelligence to keep talking about who did what allada nyanam deedu how will i do it better is always a more intelligent conversation or what somebody else did how can i learn from that okay and those are the things that you should invest your time in as a student especially deni ki pon cheechi undayirukum i had an elder sister so she used to uh, at times beat me or scold me or control me or whatever it took adagondana basic education engilum seriyaayittu nadanadu otherwise by design i'm a very i i carry a very curious brain so tends to get distracted with everything that comes on the way the pom tandi case la adu patcharadu you should <laughs> maintain some focus on something engilala you know to master something you have to dedicate your life to it and varana valare adigam correct aanu that is the absolute uh, truth with no dilution okay you know and when we say i don't have the right atmosphere or i don't i i don't have the right set of people around me to a certain degree i do take that as uh, an enabler or a disabler when you say i don't have people who appreciate me uh, around me that's a flimsy excuse other than the other you need to go beyond the boundaries set by your life and you need to interact with people who match in terms of your areas of interest your hobbies and so on you know m- music movies i'm not sure where your passion lies but for for someone like me it it's always been music music has connected me to numerous people around the world and you know i i think the same applies to anyone who holds even one passion and these are things speaking uh and i'm talking about this as an outsider i don't think it is a skill that you acquire uh out of talent alone obviously there will be people who would by design be better at putting forth their ideas thoughts more confidently that is probably uh, a talent by birth or talent by birth but it's also a matter of practice again skills can be worked on you know with practice you can work on your skills uh, the more you perform an activity it is obvious that you will better the act the next time around building on thought process and you know uh, getting a good flow of thought all of that happens to you as you interact more adond veshmikinda you will get several opportunities in life uh, pick on it on your uh, on the go and you you're you're 29 years old so you've got a long uh, life to look forward to you also spoken about the workout routine uh, blogs that i lay out interesting why have i stopped okay so it's primarily because of the health setback that i took last year and i'm just trying to build on it it's a slow process so when i fell down 
so slowly it will take time for me to pick that pace up back again you know so I'll take some time there I'm gonna run it so look at your skills you know from be proud of who you are there is a very thin line of difference which is often manipulated uh, very conveniently uh, people tend to deem you as arrogant uh, if you are confident you know being confident and overconfident it really in my experience it depends on the people we are around you know if people label you as overconfident merely because you open your mouth and speak your mind that's fine live with it you know you should if your opinion does not matter why do all the other opinions matter that's also one way of thinking you know I'm not asking you to bulldoze uh, others views not at all listen very patiently whenever someone's talking but have your line of thought have your clarity of things have, have your principles laid out to live and I would say live by them other overconfidence I thought I will be confident the day I achieve something what is achievement achievement is a relative expression achievement you don't stop somewhere and say that I have achieved you know so other circumstances and it's you will go step by step and today you're here so you will see what is it according to my available resources what's the best game that I can put forth and play and master it that's a master plan that should be the plan of your life be proud of your knowledge be proud of who you are as an individual web web culture or in a, everything is you know like a tinder left or right like dislike that is not life that's not how it works I think on the larger scheme of things everything takes time you muscle against your challenges and you search forward and every day is going to be sunny and Allah the minimum then you have to make choices you know and these are tough calls in your life and take your calls you have fewer friends have genuine friends why do you want a crowd which does not know what what the war cry is <laughs> our main theme of your life are Nura from our supporting and how is it productive from Malayali and in Malayali and from Sai can are you know English lower you know if this particular institute in Kerala thinks that uh, it takes genius to speak in English they should they should meet someone like me you know <laughs> I'm no genius but but I can speak in English to you know shatter anyone's overestimation of their own ability all of us have potential it's just a matter of polishing it you know, so when you polish it it shines so it's obvious that when you polish it more it's going to shine more keep with your efforts and all the best um, you're already you've been working for over five and a half six years now other than Allah you must have realized what your skill set is what you're good at what you're not good at I have so many things that I'm yet to pick up on as a professional you know the training is my line of work project um, Malaysia I didn't know anything about Malaysian language you know so there in spite of all the experience that I carried I stood like an idiot watching what's happening around me because I was not fluent with the language they spoke so their masters is something that I'm absolutely unaware of in a situation like that I would go back to level zero then I'll have to start from there again confidence building exercise getting things right the question of competition doesn't arise in circumstances like that you know when you enter a new ball game what confidence you will have to learn what's happening you'll have to go to the entry level of the game and then pick up from there and build up on that you have to 
if you want to play the game you will have to be prepared to take the learning that comes with it rather nya valle oru sambhavam aanu nu parne don't don't uh, enter any profession like that i truly do not consider myself as anything as far as my professional front is concerned i might run into any circumstance and it will take me back to level 0 any day i will start from there again you know it, it's not a question of being humble or not it this is the need of the hour. this is science this is the science for it to work efficiently pangana ke cheyga and <laughs> thanks for all the good things you said about the blog i i know it's uh, usually people like you who make optimal use of these platforms you know sort of getting into debates and arguments and then current cyber situation of uh, see all of that happens it's just a trend i think aringle endengil parneyo some perspective came then you have a counter perspective then they debate as to who's right what's wrong and it's a lot more volatile than it ever used to be that's the only difference there was a time when india was far more stable as far as opinions were concerned that angana le ipo atm policies and ever since demonetization case something or the other is happening every day which is not a very good thing it creates instability but these are such generic things that people at my kind of level of influence on the system we can keep on talking for the rest of our lives nothing is going to change apa positive thing to do is to watch where it's going and then i know that every matter i i don't usually uh, present arguments to people who are talking religion or too intense political things you know that is not what i do for a living so i don't want to pretend that i'm someone who has got a masters in history of india or as on nammade namukku petti paniyalla i would talk about theater as acting music that is my forte and uh, i'll keep with it thanks to all the guys who wrote from my hometown uh, very nice to hear from you i will be doing a kerala trip sometime soon so i'll try to connect with as many people on that trip take care and to the speakers of other regional languages also i love uh, i have found marathi to be exceptionally difficult bengali to be difficult to speak so i have immense respect for anyone who speaks their mother tongue uh, fluently because it's uh, it's your it's it's the default software you know so you can upgrade it to a hindi or an english and so on uh, as you grow but this is what you originally were for the the default firmware that came with the device i think i take it as a matter of pride to be proficient in my mother tongue the pro thanne ana it is not ever presented as a weakness of course some locals will tease you and stuff you know how come you speak like an african when you are given a task to that's because too bad i'm good at both the things just tell them back <laughs> and move on carry on with your life don't let it uh, diminish your confidence one bit you know my friend anyone who tries to shatter your confidence especially uh, at a professional level never call that person a friend you know friends are supposed to build your confidence not break your confidence anyone who tends to tamper with your confidence is no good for you as an individual that's not a positive relationship you hold adu manasilakkuga that's the ultimate learning that i've had as an individual negative talk yeah criticism is good to a certain degree especially corrective and constructive criticism i love the you know just vague opinions about people and things i don't i, I personally don't enjoy those those conversations uh, socially i'm not uh, too much into social interactions as well you know 
be it relative to I've been a relative shy person all my life. Like I keep minding my business sitting in a corner somewhere. Because it to my mind how it works is I should be able to take care of my things first, then I'll enter the next level and the level on and so on. It is not to impress a larger scheme of people or influence a larger scheme of things without being good with the basics. Take it like that, please. Thanks a lot.